this is the Wiesman Vintage 100. Here we have the shock arrester. So take it out, just undo one clip. Take it out. So this shock arrester is basically um, a pocket of air. There's no springs inside, it's just, just a pocket of air. And this protects the system and allows the water to expand inside without splitting the composites. If this is faulty, loses its air, when you turn the hot water tap on, it will spit at you. The diverter valve clips out. To test this is working, the most simple way is various methods. Turn the power supply on and off, and the diverter valve will move to three positions. Or, put the interface into a purge sequence. If the diverter valve is leaking on this component, it's simple. Get the diverter valve, obviously drain the heating system down first. You drain this appliance down using the filling loop underneath the appliance. Quarter turn, pull out. And it's a dry pocket spindle. If the actual diverter valve is leaking inside the appliance, to take the diverter valve out, this whole unit has to come out of the appliance and you remove the diverter valve. There's no ball inside, it's just a flat piece of plastic that covers a hole. That's the diverter valve. The bypass is underneath the diverter valve spindle. Allen key to move it or flathead. The pressure gauge is here. So if you wish to check the pumps working, the gauge should increase by 0 2 bar, and that is a method to check the pump. The other method is to check the pump, is to put an, your screwdriver inside and just move the anti-seize screw. If you've got no hot water, the first thing to check is there a demand. And this is the flow switch. It has 5 volts DC to it, and on the return, Proving good signal, you'll get half the voltage. You'll get probably five volts and about 2.3 volts DC on another uh, point. Take it out. Remove. When you're fault finding, dismantling things, always place the clips back in. On this appliance, on all the Wiesman range, on the incoming supply, it has a flow restrictor on. The good thing about this is it's accessible. Let's take that off there. And that's the restrictor. And what that does it's a filter, but it also checks whether you've got 10, 12 or 14 litres per minute. The next thing we'll take out is the plate to plate. Now then, a plate to plate is made up of two different metals. The reason why that is, so they expand at different rates and remove scale. Also, to remove this is two Allen keys, but also, make sure you drain down the hot and cold water and the central heating. This will be faulty if your hot water is fluctuating. So if you're getting hot and cold water, or it's not quite getting hot, or it's cycling on and off, this could possibly need cleaning. And I'll give you some advice now. So whenever you go to clean the plate to plate, put your scaler in, or vinegar. Whenever you add the solution to it, always put boiling hot water in. The reason why that is, when you get it hot, it will expand the metal, enabling the, the scale and the sludge to remove. Then, 
blast it through with cold water. There you have it. So there's only one way of putting this back in. There's the plates and the prisms inside, and scale can, and magnetite can stick in there. Pour the scaler solution inside, boiling hot water, give it a tap, and then blast cold water. Blasting cold water in after hot water causes a shock effect, and that will dismantle the sludge. Also, you can get a plate flusher. And this one, I've made some copper tails in. So what you do is you put the plate flusher inside, you clamp it to it, obviously it comes with washers, clamp it through, screw it down, put your solution in, put your boiling water, give it a knock, and then blast cold water through. Also, if you're having, if you're having a bit of a problem with fluctuating hot water, Check the thermistor. So here we have a thermistor. So this measures the hot water through resistance. So if you want to check this, always take the cable off and put your multimeter on. We'll talk about that next. Remove the clip. Obviously drain down the hot and cold water first. Take it out. Sometimes they may just need a clean.